right, so just what do you think it's going to do for your team kind of taking a break from conference play now and going into this Big 12 SEC challenge? Um, I, don't know, I, I think it'll just give us a chance to, you know, probably see a different brand of basketball um, throughout, throughout the league and just understand that, you know, we're still playing on high-level competition everywhere we go. You know, we'll definitely have to give respect to another power five school. Um, just for, for the seniors and, you know, guys who've been around the league, just something that we've never seen before, honestly. Like, you know, another great environment that we'll be in, you know, nobody's ready for the challenge. With Chris being someone who's initially going to go to Texas A&M and then knowing who the players are, has he talked about much his familiarity with the program? No, nah, he didn't bring it to that. He hasn't brought it up. Uh, like, I, I knew that he, he used to be committed there just because I knew him before before he got here from back home. But, um, you know, he really hasn't brought it up. And I think it's pretty mature of him, you know. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of bigger than that just one situation. Barring something crazy happening, you're going to score your 1,000th point down there. Just kind of what kind of milestone does that mean to you? Well, it's cool. You know, it's something that, um, I've thought about, you know, throughout my time, before, like when I signed my national letter of intent, um, you know, that was one of the things that you know, I, I figured that I'll, I'll have accomplished. Um, another thing was to go into the tournament in my senior year, so, you know, that's another thing we're trying to work towards. So it's, it's a cool individual goal, but, you know, I'm bigger on the team. Needs. What do you do just going through this season with some of the struggles, ups and downs lately? Just who do you turn to? You know, is there any sort of advice or any sort of person that you've kind of been turning to to inspire you as a leader? Um, you know, um, I, I mean, I read I read a lot of books. I mean, I read a, my fair share of books. I, I, I have to say Coach Mike reads a lot of books. So, um, you know, I talk to him. I talk to, you know, so one of my good mentors back home. You know. But, you know, it's, it's, it's really just amongst each other. I mean, the guys who are here every day, we really know what's going on. Dallas, um, my graduate assistant, Dre, our video coordinator, those are the guys, you know, spend a lot of time chatting with, you know, just trying to figure out the ropes. Um, I definitely need to talk to maybe one of the seniors that was here my freshman year. I think that would definitely be pretty necessary. Probably call Phil or something like that or Layden. But, um, yeah, um, I really haven't really turned to anyone besides the guys in our circle. I mean, that's really what I hone in more than anything, you know, because this, this team is a fan. Right, that's what I was going to ask if you had communicated much with the guys who were seniors mm -hmm. on the team and freshmen. Yeah, I should. That, that, they'll definitely have some good, good advice for me. Do you, like, regularly keep in contact with any, um, not, maybe not just your freshman year, but guys that have come through the program? Yeah, um, I talk to Jeff every now and then. Mitch is, Mitch is in Tulsa, so I see, I see him every now and then. Um, uh, Tavar Shine, I talk to him sometimes. Uh, you know, I just try. I just try to. You know, those are relationships. You know, that I built. You know, for a lifetime. So, definitely, those guys uh, have have good advice for me. You know, and they always and they always help the best for our team. You said you've been reading the books too. Is there any certain one you've been reading lately that's helped? Um, Relentless by Tim Grover. Uh, I think that that's a pretty good one uh, that I, that I enjoy reading. I've read it a couple times actually, but. Um, that's that's the one I'm reading that I've been reading for like the, the start of this year you know, in January. So um, besides that, I mean, I don't know. I'm open to reading anything. You got any suggestions? No. 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 <laughs> okay. As a senior leader on this team, what are your goals for the rest of the season? No, just be the best team that we can be. Um, no, our, our goals really haven't changed as far as what we wrote in the beginning, and that was finishing the top half of Big 12 and also making the tournament. So, you know, we definitely set ourselves at a standard, and we know that we're capable of doing it. And uh, if, if we're not going to make it there, we, you know, we're going to not have any regrets doing it. That's just what it comes down to, you know, giving it, giving it our all every time we step on the court. You know, for these 13 games that we have, that will really determine the rest of our season. So, um, you know, coaches' biggest advice to us, you know, just make the most of it. So you got to seize the moment. What do you guys have to do to, to get back to that 7-0 start to start the year? Well, our sense of urgency just has been at a, at a not a great, a great time. Um, I can definitely say, in a sense, we kind of took a step forward against Baylor, but we definitely took a step back against Iowa State. So that's not a direction we want to go in. Um, you know, uh, that's really just been our biggest thing, just a sense of urgency. I think. Uh, Today's practice and tomorrow's practice is going to be just as good as today's. Um, so, I mean, we just.
just have to continue to build on it and just understand that it starts in here first before we can go out and perform every day. Is there a certain level of frustration when you do take that step forward and you take the step back? Is, is that? Yeah, for sure, uh, definitely. But it's just a matter of consistency and, and looking at the man in the mirror. A lot of times, you know, you have to be that person every day. So that's just not the case with this team. I mean, it hasn't been the case these past couple games. We haven't been the same person every single time we've got stepped out on the court. That could just be kind of maddening, right? I mean, to go a whole couple months like that almost. Yeah. Um, no, but as soon as we, we find our identity and stick with it, then we'll be in a great place again, like we were before. You guys started 0-6 your freshman year. Does that provide a, a sense of hope that, you know, like you said, what you want is still still available, the tournament's still available for you guys? For sure. Um, but it was only four, four of us who were on that team, you know, I mean, we can only tell the freshmen that the hope has to come within, you know, in the belief amongst ourselves. Because when I was a freshman, my hope, you know, the first time it happened, there was really no, oh, such and such went only six before. So there's nothing really to um, go back and, and, and reference to. So, I mean, we really can't think about that because this is a completely different team. Um, we just definitely have to be the best of the best version of ourselves because we're not that team. This has nothing to do with recent basketball, but the last home game, Came out of here, Katie's. After timeout, you came back out of here. I love it. What happened? Uh, I had a little blowout, <laughs> so it's, it's an old shoe. So kind of expected it, but yeah, I got rid of it. <laughs> Have you picked out what pair you're gonna wear for point thousand? Uh, I really don't think about that. I, I, I guess I'll just get a pair of shoes out the closet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it would be something. It wouldn't be anything new. I'll, I'll let you know that. Yeah, it won't be anything new. Looking ahead, you guys have a Big Monday game again on Monday. What does Big Monday kind of mean to players? Uh, that's that's it's not. Uh, I mean, on the day of the week, I, I mean, I really don't know what the significance of Big Monday is besides having a short turnaround, you know, one day of practice. <laughs> right. So it's just um, been the ESPN game. For, yeah, for it's, it's a it's a big deal because yeah. of the you know. The momentum and, and you know the carry on, like the only, pretty much the only game on TV that night. You know everybody's watching, but our approach has to be the same. And so um, it's, it's, I mean it's pretty cool. I hope we, hopefully we have a great crowd here, you know, to support us as we have had in the past. But um, I don't know it's going it's going to be it's going to be a great game. You know, great atmosphere. You know, big time basketball. That's what we all came to see. It had been a few years since you guys had had Big Monday. Oh, really? So until we played West Virginia this year. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, those the days just get like mushed up together <laughs> okay. sometimes. So I really don't pay attention <laughs> as much. Right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, that's cool. It's, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, for us to get scheduled on so many Big Mondays, obviously someone is taking notice. So I mean, we definitely have to uh, give the people they, what they ask for. Did you watch a lot of Big Monday growing up? A little bit, okay. yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I, I didn't really become a, a huge fan of college basketball until I, be, I became a college player. So then, yeah, that's how it did. You mentioned practice today. What do you feel like the sense of urgency was like in this practice? Oh, just a high level of competitiveness. Um, you know, guys got after it, and we just saw a sense of not wanting to lose, you know, wanting to win, not, sorry. We, we've been sort of playing like we haven't, didn't want to lose rather than playing to win. So like, you know, we've definitely practiced like we wanted to win. And with, um, you know, competition drills that definitely showed, you know, guys that wanted to fight to, to the last, to the last claw, like to the last second. And that's what we did today. You know, we have to do that every day. Man.